Good morning everybody, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash that like button, please do subscribe. Good morning, and yep, yeah, it's warm again for September, we've got a bit of sunshine outside. I've just been outside to uh, water my plants on the balcony. Um, so, obviously I don't have children of school age my children are in their uh, early to late 20s and i've got one that's a teenager a older teenager so i don't have children so i don't have anything to do with the schools or the school run um, i'm by myself at home right now um, and i'm just getting on with my day i'm i'm ignoring external stimuli because when you are a targeted individual, um, it's so easy to uh, react to external stimuli, everyday noises. You become more sensitive to them. Uh, because of the trauma that I've been through over the past four years of living in this flat. So I'm now gradually learning just to ignore it. There are times, especially when you're tired and you're fed up, that you get up. And you get so easy to react to it. You've just got to completely block it out and get on with what you're doing because they want a reaction. That's the whole point of, of, of their behaviour. They want you to notice them. They want you to listen to what they're saying. They want to twist your mind and make you think you're going mad so that they can cover up their wrongdoings. Okay? I'm not going to be answering any phone calls from my mother. I'm not going up there. I'm an adult. And my mother has no control over my finances. She doesn't have any control over me to my knowledge. And I am an adult. Alexa, good morning. Good morning and happy B Day to Beyonce. Just like Queen B. I love it when you say my name. Say my name. So it's Beyonce's birthday today, a black female singer. Alexa, how old is Beyonce? Good morning, Crystal. Beyonce is 43 years old. So Beyonce's going on towards 50. <laughs> Alexa, what's the time? It's 8.28 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? Alexa, the date. Today is Wednesday the 4th of September. Alexa, what is the weather outlook? Right now in Rochester, it's 15 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today's forecast has rainy weather with a high of 20 degrees and a low of 13 degrees. Also, there's a yellow warning for rain in effect from Wednesday 4th of September. 9 p.m. to Thursday, 5th of September, 9 a.m. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Did you hear the one about the egg whites? It was no yolk. And Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include David Johnson, American singer, songwriter and actress Beyonce, American comedian and actress Whitney Cummings, British musician, DJ, songwriter and record producer Mark Ronson, and American physician William Kennedy Smith. So, good morning. I hope everybody has a wonderful uh, Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Um, so, yeah. So, somebody wanted me to write in my journal. Um, I've not been writing in my journal. I think a video journal is enough. Uh, we know that the stalker, come harasser, goes down my YouTube to steal some of my content and then makes stories from it and makes themselves some money while I'm broke. We know that and they think I'm a mug. I'm not a mug. I'm trying to get my story out there um, around the world. Um, and if they make money from people's misery, I feel sorry for them. And karma does have a way of coming back on them. 
so what they do is they go pe through people's YouTube channels, uh, they steal content or they laugh at the creators and they go onto sites and make money out of other people's channels and other people's misery. That is their life. It's sad, but they make money from it. So it's obviously making them happy and laughing at the people they've stolen from doesn't make them a very nice person and I wouldn't want to be them when every creator that they've stolen from finds out what they've been doing. So they want me to write in my journal, they want me to keep speaking, they want me to tell my story and I re go into the Daily Mail or the Sun newspaper and find my story through somebody else's mouth, somebody else's lips. Or I, or I talk on tape, I talk on personal tape, keep it for records and find what I've said that evening, the next day in the newspapers. But it's not my story, it's somebody else's. And just take a look at this, right? I don't wear folded over jeans, but this was in the U magazine um, last Sunday. My mother wears oversized men's jeans, Jennifer does, and look what they put in the U magazine last Sunday. A young woman in an oversized pair of jeans with, the, with them folded up. So, the person is obsessed with my life and what's going on in my life, and my mum wears oversized jeans like that. So they're the fashion, are they? They're now the fashion to wear your jeans like a man, oversized. <laughs> I won't be speaking to my mother for the time being. No, I won't. she have to find someone else to talk to. I'm sure she's got plenty of people to talk to. Whereas I'm sat in doors most of the day on my own which I don't mind actually so hello stalker how are you doing are you trying to find more things to steal from me today oh they get away with it they get they keep getting away with it because um because they can. We know the police are useless, they don't give a flying fuck. Um, even if there were spy cameras in this building and, and spyware, they wouldn't do anything. I believe this has been going on for years and they've been getting away with it, right? So we, know, we now know from reading the, the mail yesterday, which I went out and got, that um, even workers that come out to your flat can stick spyware in something when you're not looking. So, I mean, I, I mean, I, <laughs> I've got to live. I've got to go to the shop. I've got to take my dog for a walk. I've got to get things, but I can limit to how often I go out uh, and um, they're not to, 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 to stop a lot of what they're doing it's also very childish I mean you know this isn't a young person doing this this is an older person would you believe taking the mickey out of somebody that has you know, that has gone through so much trauma. And I feel sorry for them. They're sick, they're insane, they need locking up, but I can't help them with that. Eventually they get caught. Eventually the obsession with the ins and outs of my arsehole will get fed, they'll get fed up with it when I don't speak to them, correspond with them, or have anything to do with them. 
all their cronies following me about being stupid and trying to, oh, oh, because the flirt finder pervert used to call me darling. They used to call me honey. They used to call me sweetie. So, you know, saying things to their mates, hello, darling, hello, sweetie, behind my back, is just really stupid. When they've got nothing to copy, you know, they go and find someone else to, to latch on to because they've got no mind of their own because they're like a, a, a dormant sheep which just stands in a field and follows all the other sheep around the field because it's got no bloody brain. Not one of them says this is wrong, stop doing it. They all follow each other around a field like a stupid sheep. All I say is leave me alone. We know the police are going to not come out and do anything. They're involved in it because they work, probably work for the person that's doing this to me. So I get up and I just get on with my life and I'm learning Polish. And then when I finish learning Polish, we learn another language because I wasn't allowed to learn at school because I was fucking bullied at school as well. I was bullied at school by parasites every day of my school life. Why? When you look at my when you look at my um, school photo, I just I had blonde hair. I had blonde hair, bright blonde hair, and then it grew a bit darker when I went to secondary school, like coppery colour. Nothing wrong with my hair at all. Nothing wrong with my face. No, nothing wrong at all. I was bullied every day of my school life, and I can absolutely say that. Every single fucking day of my secondary school life I was bullied like this shite that goes on in here. And I just want to know why, because I wasn't exactly, I didn't stand out as a child, I, I didn't look ugly, there was nothing wrong with me as a kid. Why am I being punished in this manner? And why don't people grow up and find something else to do than try and make, make a kid, as I was then, try and kill themselves because they're being abused? Um, so carry on, uh, whatever you are. I don't know what you are. I haven't got a name for you yet. You, you parasites, you, you harassing waste of space. I, I, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're getting out of it, but um, your days are, are gone because I, you know, I do what I want to do and I don't want to speak to you. I don't want your bullshit. You're perverts. You prey on the vulnerable. You try and get women that have been raped allegedly to take their clothes off. You're disgusting scum. And anybody that's friends with you and helping you accomplish what you're doing is just as rotten as you are. So remember that they can send bogus workers round to your flat. I'm not saying the worker that came out to install the smoke alarms and the spotlights was bogus, but when he went on the phone, Hello Derek! I did begin to wonder. It's all a game to them. It's like, you know, nothing in my life is real. They control it. And it all stems from, like, it's come from my childhood um, where I was abused. And then I was suffered domestic violence. So it carried on there. And then when I left Gloucestershire, it's obviously carried on down here. They want a sex toy, a sex puppet that they can control. And they can't do it anymore. And I don't care whether they laugh behind my back, talk like a sheep. Uh, I, I really don't give a shit. Darling, sweetie. Don't talk to me like that when you're vile. You're vile. You ain't no nice person. 
you're a sex pest, you belong in a fucking mental hospital and I don't want nothing to do with you. So everybody else enjoy your day. I'm sure the harasser come pervert to find something to do with their sad sorry life then keep trying to contact me through uh tiktok i don't read the messages i get notifications but i don't read your messages see you later